uh, the global border crisis is taking place in the midst of uh, simultaneous social, economic, climatic, sanitary, and security crisis. Uh, in, this, in this context, uh, the democratic governance of water in general and of water and sanitation services in particular must be ensure environmental sustainability and adopt existing international standards on the human rights to water and sanitation, including the principle of participation that establishes that it must be active, free, and meaningful, which means that it must not be limited to the simple exchange of information and specific consultations, but must ensure mechanisms for, ci uh, for citizen participation in decision-making at all levels. In addition, and in order to achieve effective accountability or information on the management of water services and their economic, social, and envi environmental results, as well as that related to citizen participation must be accessible, public, and easily understandable. This is directly related, and it is an indispensable condition to transparency and accountability to be possible. These principles on the human right of the human right to water and the human right to water by itself are key to democratic governance and should be therefore be taken into account in the process of defining the agenda to be developed after the New York Conference. But it is equally important that the follow-up and implementation of this agenda be carried out with the active, free, and meaningful participation of social movements and, in general, of the citizenship. In fact, the collaboration between citizenship and the UN water will be one of the main challenges of the post-conference. Thank you.